what's going on everybody, Donnie here with another video. I've had multiple people ask me about my team build for the 80 overall competitive seasons and I think I found the best way to do things as I finished top 100 in the first round of the season and I'm planning on doing the same for the next round. Here's my best explanation on how to build the best 80 overall team. Number 1, Goaltending. Let's start with your goaltending because it's really, really important. Don't skimp on your goaltender. There's no reason to try to stack your lines when your goaltenders are going to let in every softie imaginable. I personally chose to go with Hextall as he's constantly been the most dominant goalie for me in HUD so far. He's also got Burner, which is extremely important in this competitive seasons because it'll help make your low overall bottom liners a bit less slow and sluggish, which may help altogether a ton. For the backup, it doesn't necessarily matter unless you're going for a specific synergy, but it's important that you go out of your way to make the lowest possible overall backup goalie your backup to bring down your overall goalie rating as much as possible. It'll give more leeway to your top lines. Now, onto the forwards. I figured it'd be impossible to win without having three solid lines, so that's exactly what I did. I decided not to use any 90 plus overall players, instead going for a more balanced approach with 86s, 87s, and 88s. The most important thing you can do is balance your lines. LaFontaine's not super fast, but he's a great center up the middle with 86 faceoffs and very high shot accuracy. Pair him with Ferraro, who's super fast and has unreal ability all the way across the board, and then you 110% have to get a sniper for the left wing on your top line. This line's gonna be the one you play the most, so sacrificing speed for shooting ability may help in the long run with one time. My second line includes Gilmore, Korn, and Curry. Everyone knows about the wingers at this point, with both of them having good speed, good shot ability, and great passing ability. Korn has burner, so that helps a ton, as well as having speedsters, which I have active, that'll give him a boost to his already unreal speed. Paired up the middle, I have 85 Doug Gilmore, partially there for BU, partially there because he's a stud across the board who can help me win some big faceoffs on the second line. I really like having centers with high defensive awareness, so they both do the trick. Here's where things get tricky. Depending on how you play, Voracek on the third line right wing was the best decision for me to pair with two small players in the Brinkat and Ronning. I needed burner players desperately, and while Voracek's accuracy isn't fantastic, it'll get it done. More than anything, he creates chances with his speed, and he's an all-around good player. So it helps a lot. I picked Ronning for my silver player because of his speed, which is actually on par with the majority of the mid-tier players in HUD at this point, going up to almost 90 after boosts. The break gets a stud of the middle who can speed up the ice, and while he might not be the best defensive forward, he's actually got decent enough stats to where he'll work out pretty well. My fourth line is a mixture of players that I wanted to make sure wouldn't put me over, so I capped myself about 205 in terms of overall. I needed burner help, so I picked Rangers and Vinny Letary and Leas Anderson to make things work out for me there. Letary and Anderson are both fast enough to keep up, and while the skill level isn't necessarily there just yet, they're good enough. As you can see, Letary's a plus 9 and Anderson's a plus 6. Right wing matters a bit less, but I needed a speedster, and how could I not use a guy named Nando Eggenberger? Nando's also a plus 6 for me so far, and while his attributes are atrocious, he's good enough as a 4th liner who plays no minutes. Number 3, Defenseman. I went deep on defense, using PK Subban and 89 Paul Coffey. Defense is my one priority, and Subban's a stud defensively with some offensive ability as well. Paul Coffey might be the best card in the game altogether. With a max speed after boosts, 89 slap shot accuracy, 90 slap shot power, 88 wrist shot accuracy, and 89 wrist shot power, as well as extremely high awareness and ability to body check and stick check. My second pairing consists of Seth Jones and Noah Hannafin. Jones is a studly player who I'm a big fan of, and Hannafin has BU, so having him slotted makes a good bit of sense, especially because he got high defensive awareness and is a dirt cheap card. Jones and Hannafin work well together and both generate good chances offensively while keeping the puck out of the net defensively. My bottom pairing was mostly for the synergies, with Noah Dobson and Chris Summers both in for speedsters. I'm actually a fan of Summers, and I feel like he's good enough to where he makes it work as a high level player because he's got high speed. He's never behind the play and can even generate some offense if he's needed to. So, for those who are counting, I gave myself 960 overall points offensively and 481 defensively making an even spread across the board for skaters. Goaltending should average out at about 130, giving you a 65-ish overall goaltender rating. Then, throw in Dale Peterson as head coach for BU and you're set. Thanks everyone for watching this quick video, I really hope this will help. If you liked the video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It'll help me a ton, I'm trying to reach 1k by the end of the year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.